I can't see this. I'm sorry, these are so short, these movies. I've got to fucking check all the technical shit to get this phone, work, this video working properly, but it's running out of time very quickly. Junior Police, five, we've got five minutes left, sort of thing. You know, but, um, Queen's Warehouse, Hatfield, Hertfordshire, right? 50 Queen's Warehouse, out. <coughs> I've lived here 23 years. I've got, you know, mates up, a, a friend uh, somewhere called Graham, and there's Phil downstairs, and there's a few other people who want to stay here, not many now. There's very few of us left. I'm on top of the list to move, like I said, I'm on top of the list to get moved out of Queen's Warehouse. But I'm so, I was so much at home here, so comfortable here. It was, it's the most beautiful fucking place I've ever lived in is here. This is my fucking home, which I've designed, done myself, you know. Everything's where I want it to be here. It's my fucking home that I've built. How would you feel if someone, how would you feel right now, right? It's for anybody. Everyone, how would you feel right now if I came up to you and said, right, are you comfortable? Are you happy at home? I'm going to move you out now. You've got to move and find somewhere else to live now. What do you mean you've got just bought your house? I don't, what do you mean you've lived in your house for 30 years? I don't care. Get out of your house. We're moving you out now. Actually, Graham, a mate of mine, has been living here for, I think, said 40 years. Graham, very good friend of mine, actually. Yeah, he's 70 now, I think. He's been living here for 40 years. He bought his hat. He's been living here for 40 years. He owns his own flat up, uh, down, well, in, on, in Queensway House, you know. You know, if, it, if you made Graham the security guard, he wouldn't need a fire warden. But anyway, um, no. But he's been here 40 years and he owns his flat and he doesn't want to move. Graham does not want to move and I do not want to move and Phil does not want to move either. We all live here. Right? Point is, right? Why do you want to demolish Queen's Warehouse? Structurally, there's nothing wrong with Queen's Warehouse. Council even said so, structurally. The structure of Queen's Warehouse, nothing wrong with it. All right? Okay, the cladding's being sorted out right now, actually outside, isn't it? They take the cladding off now, aren't they, outside? But inside, what needs to do is the floors need to be resurfaced. Paint jobs need to be done. The problem is when they fixed up the outside of Queen's Warehouse, you know, they never fixed up the inside of Queen's Warehouse. That was about 10 years ago or 20 years ago. I can't remember when it was. How long ago was it when they fixed up Queen's Warehouse? But anyway, they never touched the inside of Queen's Warehouse. You know when they did that renovation? They did a big renovation of Queen's Warehouse, double glazing windows and all that, about 15, 20 years ago or whatever, probably now. They did all the outside of Queen's Warehouse. The council did. But they never touched the inside of Queen's Warehouse, did they? They never renovated the inside of Queen's Warehouse. This is the problem, really. The council spent all that money putting double glazing windows and cladding onto Queen's Warehouse, yeah, to make it look pretty, to make it look pretty. And it doesn't look pretty because yellows and white is an ugly colour. I don't like the colour of the cladding either. I'd have given it a paint job, red and black. I would have done the cladding as red and black. But the problem is, when they fixed up Queen's Warehouse about 15, 20 years ago, they never touched the inside of Queen's Warehouse. You see, they fixed up the outside of Queen's Warehouse. But the council never, ever fixed up the inside of the, count of the flats. They could have re resurfaced the floors. They could have fixed the floors very easily. They could have gone from, they can go from gas to electric very easily. If you've got a gas leak, if gas leaks are the problem, make them electric flats. They did it with my flat. It's very simple. It took a day, but it, well, it's not very simple for me, but it's very simple for the engineers to do it. They could do it in a day, you know, the uh, electricity, to, the gas boiler to electric boiler sort of thing. 
course, I had to get radiators and stuff. It is and probably cost a bit, but it cost less than moving me out. It cost less than me moving out. Council just gave me a new electric boiler, new electric shower, a uh, new electric heater. And then they say, right, now we're moving you out, throwing me out. But I petted an aquarium in my fucking uh, bathroom on the wall because the council uh, concreted over the wall, over the over my window. Do you know, since the renovation of Queensware House in about 10, 15 years ago, all the council did on the inside was replace the doors with fire doors, yeah. And basically all they did was uh, uh, concrete over everybody's bathroom window. So everyone had concrete in their bathroom, where their bathroom window used to be, you see. So I turned my concrete into on the inside. I wasn't allowed to paint on the outside. I wasn't allowed to paint on the outside. On the inside, I painted a fantastic aquarium. I'll show it to you one day. Anyway, that's all I want to say tonight. I'm sorry this film's been split into bits, but now it's working a bit. I don't know. How long have we got? Five minutes, six minutes, seven minutes, ten minutes? I don't know. Anyway, apologies for the bogey. Hope I don't offend you too much. Do you see my willy? <laughs> a bit old for that, mate. 54. 54! Okay? Don't want to fucking lose my home. How would you honestly feel if the council came up to you and said, Hey, uh, you've lived here for 30 years or 40 years or 20 years or whatever. You built yourself a home. Well, now we're moving you out of it. The council never gave a damn for us, man. They never decorated, they never fixed the fucking floors. They never painted the fucking walls a nice colour or whatever. You ever heard of the Block Australia show in uh, Amazon, on Amazon? That's really worth fucking watching, man. I'd love to do that with Queensware House. I'd love to do the Block in Queensware House. You know, get, get renovators and stuff to fix Queensware House. What I'd like to do is house all the homeless in Queensware House. You know, in the empty flats, I'd house all the homeless and get them to renovate their own flats. That'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? You've got all these empty flats in Queensware House. How about housing the homeless in Queensware House? And then paying them money, giving them money to renovate their own flats. Yes? Okay, if the council don't want to look after Queensware House, Instead of...